I'm a video journalist at the Washington Post, and uh, the way we do video is you, uh, you know, you do your interviews and, and get your B-roll, and you create maybe a three to five minute video. But so often we want to integrate so many more voices into a story, and so for projects like these, like A New Age of Walls and Waypoint, we wanted to have a lot more voices in the story, and we're, we're always looking for ways to to do that where somebody doesn't have to just sit through and listen to all of the interviews from beginning to end. And so working with these guys with graphics allowed for that to happen. It allowed for us to break the story out into pieces. And in Waypoint, you could tap your way through the different stories. So the user had control. And then in New Age of Walls, scroll through the stories. And it just allowed us to have a lot more context, to have more ambitious projects, more ambitious stories that we might not have been able to do when you just have somebody hit play and watch the whole thing from beginning to end. In Waypoint, we tell the story of refugees arriving to Europe, people on the move, crossing this island of Lesbos in the Mediterranean Sea, uh, getting to Europe. With barriers, we tell the story of how they got stuck, how this new trend on you know, this big diaspora, the largest diaspora since World War II, uh, was being responded by countries uh, by raising barriers. So we wanted to tell this second story as kind of sort of a follow-up project, like building up on the experiences and all the things we learn uh, during the first piece. For a new age of walls, we're, we're talking about um, nine countries, three continents, uh, barriers all over the world, which is just a, a huge story where you you need context. We're jumping between places and times and, and you need to use all the tools available to help readers understand what we're saying, where we are. That's what was really exciting for me was the opportunity to work with Zoan and Samuel with uh, and our, some of our uh, other reporters just to to take the, the strengths of different mediums. With data, with charts, we can show you very clearly that more walls have been built in recent years than in hundreds of years before. And that's a very clear way to tell it, but that's just data, and data is about people. And so if we can match that data up with video, with taking people to those walls, show people how others are impacted, why those walls were built, with text, with reading, with graphics. It's a little bit more active, where you're, you're scrolling through something, you're, you're following it at your speed. And so to, to match those two experiences together uh, took, just took a lot of design, a lot of testing. But for, I mean, the, the, the strengths that all these different mediums give you is, is, is worth it. I think one of the things that I appreciated most in terms of feedback is that certain stakeholders in these issues of raising barriers and, and refugee issues are using it to help people understand what's going on. Um, it's being used in classrooms to teach people about the refugee crisis. It's being used in classrooms to teach people about borders being um, built around the world. And so, so that's, that seems like it was something useful.